The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, says the bank does not charge any fee of COVID-19 loan applications as claimed in false reports circulated on social media. Isaac Okurafo, the Director of Corporate Communications Department of the CBN, made this known in a statement. He explained that procedures for assessing the 50 billion naira targeted credit facility stimulus package for households and micro, small and medium enterprises affected by the pandemic were clearly spelled out. He advised prospective applicants to approach Nesra Microfinance Bank or the CBN branch nearest to them for clarification on the procedure for accessing any of the bank's related loans. And now, the President, Association of Small Business Owners, Dr. Femi Igbeshola, joins us via Skype. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. How do you see the move by the CBN to create a 50 billion naira credit facility for SMEs? Well, it's a smart move. That's what we need at this time. And I think um, it's good that CBN has acted so swiftly to ensure that um, a stimulus is provided for SMEs at this time. Can you confirm if any of your members has benefited from the loan facility? Not at all. At the moment, we don't have any of our members who have benefited. We are still uh, hopeful that um, we will get some of us who will benefit at the end of the day. But as at today, none of us has benefited. And I've not also heard of any other person elsewhere in other associations that have also benefited. Is, this, is, it, is it too early to expect to get reactions that people are benefiting? Or is it that it is, the information is not widespread enough? Well, the information is widespread. As at Monday, the press briefing from CBN is that over 18,000 people have already applied for the loan. And uh, the next breast briefing we had was that as a Thursday this week, this busment will begin. But uh, I am yet to confirm anybody, either in an association or other related association that has benefited. We keep asking. We have been doing our own investigation. If there's any that has benefited so far, by the moment, we have not been able to get anybody responding to the positive. What is your assessment of the procedures for assessing the loan and how realistic is it? Uh, well, um, it's like I did say, it's a good initiative, but um, some of the criteria for accessing the loan may be far too high and above for the real sector that are affected by this COVID-19. What I mean is that um, if you look at it very well, it is the micro and small business owners that are worst eats by the COVID-19. Quite a number of these micro entrepreneurs would not be able to access this fund because of the criteria uh, in it. I would have wanted a situation whereby the criteria is simplified so that um, more of the small and micro entrepreneurs, people who depend on daily, weekly income, can be part of this program and benefit maximally from it. If you look at it now, you will discover that it is uh, fully online. You will also discover that um, there are certain collaterals and criteria that this sector cannot meet. And that means that they will be left out of this palliative measure. How are small business owners faring um, now that COVID-19 has hampered business operations? It's been really bad. It's been really bad. Uh, people in our sector are those that um, most often than not must go to work every day if they have to sustain their livelihood. For the past 28 days or so, they've not been able to go out. And that means that many who are already eating in into their savings and even the capital of their business. And what that portends is that at the end of this lockdown, you will discover that a lot of small businesses will close shop. And um, those who are not even closing may begin to hail, may not do well. And that's why there's need for government at this point to quickly and swiftly intervene by providing palliative measures for this sector. If our economy must grow, we must pay more than usual attention to this sector. And the only way we can do that is for government to take the needed action. If this uh, CBN 50 billion targeted facility must work, they must revise it in such a way that this particular group of people, that is a micro and small business owners, partake more, more maximally from the loan. What, what else do you think, or rather, should I say, expect the government to do to cushion the effect of uh, the pandemic on your members, even after lockdown? 
Well, after lockdown, we will expect government to relax quite a number of uh, taxes that is uh, ongoing at the moment. We will also look at. Uh, we will also want government to look at the possibility of bringing stakeholders on the table to be able to draw out um, new policies that can assist the sector to grow. The existing policies at this time may not be able to suit the need of the uh, small and medium business owners at this point in time. And that's why new policies has to be initiated to be able to assist this sector if this sector is not to die. Unfortunately for us, the uh, major source of income, that is the crude oil, is on the downside. And um, if we want to grow the economy, that means it is now time for us to diversify. It's now time for us to pay more attention to the critical sector of the economy, which is this micro, small, and medium enterprises. So government need to do more than usual in making sure that they support and strengthen this sector so that it can grow. When it comes to uh, calling on um, critical stakeholders, we expect them to call on them accredited, recognized associations like ours, other critical players also in the industry, so that we can all come together and open minds and come out with something that will be workable. It's a different thing to have a policy in place. It's another thing for that policy to be workable and to be able to achieve its needed targets um, results. What we need now is not just um, semantics. What we need now is what can really work. We need now to study our immediate environment and challenges at this point and profile solutions that can meet the needs of those challenges. All right, thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you too.